All right, uh, since I have 9% percentage left on my battery, obviously we're not going to be able to get through the brain quest questions. Uh, but, uh, but we do, of course, have enough time to get through, uh, you know, the information on this artist uh, that the song comes from. It was called Dreaming of You by Mr. Brian Colbertson. Brian Colbertson, C-U-L-B-E-R-T-S-O-N. And this guy is quite a guy. Um, thank God um, he has a website, uh, of course, that, uh, you know, tells all about him. Um, and, uh, yes, it tells me I'm running on reserve battery power right now. I know that. Um, so we got to get him and pick up the speed. Um, but anyways, Brian Corberson, what a guy, what a guy, what a guy. Um, definitely, you know, of course, one of the, one of the many jazz artists that start out, um, going through very instruments, you know, trying to find his voice and just really experimenting. He started, um, his quest at the age of eight on the piano, um, adding drums at nine, trombone at 10, and then bass at 12. Um, he grew up loving genre, genre crossing jazz pop artists such as Chicago, Blood, Sweat, and Tears, Tower of Power, The Brecker Brothers, David Sanborn, Yellow Jackets, Earth, Wind, and Fire. I love Earth, Wind, and Fire, so we have a connection right there. And, uh, Maynard Ferguson. And uh, from there, he just uh, was so passionate that he decided to do something about it and decided to make a career out of what he loved so much. Uh, he said at the age of 20, um, he produced his uh, debut album, Long Night Out, uh, followed in short order by Modern Life in 1995, and uh, so on and so forth. Um, and this guy has become, of course, a success, a phenomenon, a big staple in the jazz industry as of today. And uh, right now, currently for fans, a special treat. Um, this guy happens to have a DVD out a, of a short film. Um, it's about a 98-minute documentary called Live from the Inside, or Live from the Inside. I think it's Live from the Inside. Um, it's by Mr. Brian Colbertson. Please, please, please go get that DVD. Check it out. Buy it. Um, if you're a real, uh, if you're a real uh, dedicated and uh, just obsessed Brian Colbertson fan, and if you want to know what uh, making uh, his kind of music is like from the ground floor up, that's what basically <clears throat> uh, the DVD is going to explain to you and what's going to give to you. It's for, for fans that are just interested as, as to how did Brian Colbertson get where he is, and of course for um, you know uh, fans that are so inspired by his work that they want to you know be like him someday. Um, it definitely the definitive uh, you know the instructional uh, you know piece of work for you uh, to figure out how you to. Uh, can make uh, you know genre uh, crossing and just definitive and groundbreaking jazz music from the ground floor up. It just shows it, it shows you the basics uh, from I guess uh, you know finding uh, you know the instruments that fit the song well and finding the words that fit the song well all the way up to uh, going to the recording studio to actually produce the song and uh, edit the you know edit the the sounds and the beats and just applying everything you can to make it a ground breaking record and just something with a lot of force uh, that is obviously worthy of selling in stores and. Uh, uh, you know, selling on air on uh, the radio. Uh, so please get that DVD when you can. I'm sure it's in stores right now to this day. It's, I think it's the most current of uh, news that's uh, uh, that concerns Mr. Brian Colbertson. Uh, so please get that in support of him if you're a real fan of him, or if you have just become a fan of him just by listening to his very, uh, very soothing, very, uh, very otherworldly song um, entitled uh, Dreaming of You. That was Dreaming of You from Mr. Brian Colbertson. Live from the inside, DVD should be out in stores right now. Uh, Mr. Brian Colbertson, uh, what's a guy? And of course, uh, if you t tune into more Silk Tunes, um, as uh, the Jonathan Francois show goes by each day by day, um, you'll see, you'll hear more Silk Tunes, more you know talented artists, more uh, groundbreaking, and uh, just you know artists that just will blow your freaking mind away. Uh, so please uh, stick around for that um, in the coming time. All right. And on that note, of course, since I only have four percent left on my battery um, on my laptop, we are going to have to end the Jonathan Francois show for today. I'd like to thank you guys uh, for tuning in. Um, once again, I wish you a very happy, very blessed, and a very uh, thought-provoking um, Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Uh, such a great guy. Uh, did a lot for American history and uh, totally shaped it and into the way it is today, which is all about equality, all about rights, and all about coming together as a tight-knit community where everybody is uh, just as much of a, a potentially driven individual as anybody else, as the next person. Uh, so please, please, please commemorate and remember um, and reflect on on what Martin Luther King uh, did to make that happen. Um, classes start up again tomorrow, so wish me luck on that. Um, and of course, I'm going to spend the rest of the day trying to get everything all sorted out um, so I can start the semester off smoothly and uh, hopefully successfully. Um, and uh, yeah, and of course, uh, you know, for college kids that are, that are starting tomorrow, already started already, um, good luck with you. Um, final semester of the year, so let's get through this uh, very, uh, very smoothly and successfully, as I said before. 
um, and 3%, we're kind of down. Uh, but uh, yeah, have a great rest of the day, um, especially for everybody uh, who pretty much uh, should have the day off from school to work. Um, enjoy it while you can. Um, remember Martin Luther King um, uh, while you're you know just uh, relaxing and, I don't know, watching TV or spending time with the family or whatever, or whatever you're doing to um, make the most out of your day off. Um, you know, do that as well as remember what Martin Luther King did and re remember the significance and impact of this day. And uh, yeah, I mean, whenever you can, um, should, should YouTube still have it? So look up that I Have a Dream speech that he made. Uh, uh, way back in uh, um, March of 1963, I believe, on uh, in Washington, and just uh, realize uh, what he did uh, that impacted uh, how today's culture is run. All right, so that's about it for you, like Jonathan Francois. Sure, I expect to see uh, you guys once again tomorrow, although not in the morning and early afternoon because I have classes around that time, so probably around the late afternoon and in the evening maybe. Uh, but uh, overall, I should be able to see you guys tomorrow. Um, so uh, look out for me, and uh, we'll have some more fun. All right, so, but on that note, have a great rest of the day. This is Jean-Francois saying peace.